Hello, BookTube. I thought I'd do a bit of a book haul today. And to start it out, it's not even going to be a book. So the good folks at Library of America sent me this book bag to celebrate uh, uh, the release of these volumes. So very nice of them. Pretty sturdy thing, too. And those are always welcome. Um, I'm going to start with a book haul I made at a thrift store this morning, and then there'll be other book hauls added here. So the first thing I found here is Alexander the Great, Journey to the End of the Earth by Norman F. Cantor. Um, I rem I'm more familiar with him as a medievalist, excellent writer. Um, this thing came out, okay, it was written with D. Uh, Rainieri, I believe is how you pronounce it, uh, Harper and Collins Publishers, and this came out in 2005. So a, a slim vault, and there's, there's Norman Cantor right there, a historian I very much enjoy reading, but I wasn't aware he had done this. So a little biography of Alexander the Great and his journeys. So that was nice. Then this next one, this one's a little dated, but I've got it as much for nostalgia as anything else, and it's fun to dip in and out of. And I had it originally in a two-volume set. Then I had this volume, lost both of them over the years, and that's Asimov's Guide to Science. There's going to be a little glare, there's not much of can know. Well, that's not too bad. And there he is. So this is an overview of science. So uh, used to be a must-have on the, uh, uh, a private library's shelves, or even a public library. It's Basic Books Incorporated, New York, and uh, originally came out in 1960, but this is from 1984, and it's the sixth printing. So um, yeah, I, there's some of his volumes I'd like to have. Again, as much for nostalgia as anything else, um, his guide to Shakespeare. Um, what else has he got? He had the encyclopedia of uh, biographical encyclopedia of science technology. Love to have that. I like to have a lot more of his uh, nonfiction. So yeah, it's, I have quite a place on the Asimov shelf. Then this last one, I was sort of, I'm sort of surprised I've never had this. And this is the Oxford Companion to the English Language, language, excuse me, edited by Tom MacArthur. Got my receipt in it there. So each of these books cost a dollar seventy-five at the thrift store. This was published in 1992, Oxford University Press. And uh, yeah, this is the first edition. So Oxford Companion to the English Language. To read you a little bit about this. Um, it's a thousand page cornucopia covering virtually every aspect of the English language as well as language in general. The range of topics is remarkable, offering a goldmine information on writing and speech, including entries on grammar, literary terms, linguistics, rhetoric, and style, as well as on such uh, wider issues as sexist language, bilingual education, child language acquisition, and the history of English. There are biographies of Shakespeare, Noah Webster, Noam Chomsky, James Joyce, and many others who have influenced the shape or study of language. Extended articles on everything from psycholinguistics to sign language to tragedy. Coverage of every nation in which a significant part of the population speaks English as well as virtually every regional dialect and pidgin, from Gullah and Skoos to Cockney and Tokpisan, or Pisin? I'm not sure how to say that. In addition, the companion uh, provides bibliographies for the larger entries, generous cross-referencing, etymologies for headwords, a chronology of English from Roman times to 1990, and an index of people who appear in entries or bibliographies. So, quite a volume and a nice reference book to have. I was thrilled to have it. Again, $1.75. It's in good shape. And I love sitting down in the evening and just dipping in and out of entries. Of things like this, um, books of quotations, uh, readers' guides, any of that stuff. So I have a great time doing it. 
This next thing I got for uh, Christmas from my wife. This is A Middle Earth Traveler, Stories from Bag End to Mordor by John Howe. Now we did see this Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, Boston, New York, 2018. Um, so, and I don't want to overdo the showing the images here, but um, we saw this artist on a documentary. Was um, I think it was on Netflix, but it might have been on Amazon Prime. And really, they really enjoyed the whole thing. They looked into the roots of um, Tolkien's work. Uh, John Howe is um, he's born in '57 in Vancouver, Canada. He moved to France in '76 and earned a diploma in illustration um, in Strasbourg. He's illustrated many children's books, but is best known for his Tolkien calendars, book jackets, maps, and posters. In 1998, he spent a year in New Zealand working as conceptual artist on Peter Jackson's acclaimed Lord of the Rings movie trilogy, and in 2009, he returned to New Zealand to work on the Hobbit movie trilogy. So uh, quite a beautiful book. It's loaded with illustrations. Thrilled, thrilled to have it. Uh, then um, these next ones um, were gifts from Steve Donahue. Um, he gave quite a, as, as he always does. He's very generous to the library. And he's always been very generous to me and my home library. And sometimes he lets me have the, the pick of the crop. So these are books that I'm, I may read and put in my library or read and put in my home library. But to start it off, I'm really excited with this. This is Churchill Walking with Destiny by Andrew Roberts. Uh, unlike Steve, I'm a big Churchill fan, and, it's, and uh, I'm looking for, I've heard this book is just outstanding single, single volume biography. It's um, Viking, and uh, it's the first printing in 2018. It does have uh, illustrations, and. Yeah, like I say, I'm really looking forward to this. <clears throat> the next one is a little older, and I'm actually really looking forward to this because I absolutely love this author. And that's uh, Robert Louis Stevenson, Frank McLinn, a biography. Frank uh, McLinn, I think I'm saying that correctly. And uh, he... I have looked through it a bit, and I'm already excited about it. The New York Random House, and this came out, uh, it's the first U.S. edition of 93, so it's a bit older, um, but, again, I would say Kidnap's one of my favorite novels of all time. I love Treasure Island. I love some of the travel narratives. And yeah, just big, big fan. So the next one here, let me do this, is Steve had given, provided, purchased, provided, I guess is the word, a, um, this volume to the library, and he knew I really enjoyed it, and he gave a copy to me, and that's the Classical Music Lover's Companion to Orchestral Music. Big old beast of a thing, with, uh, um, Entries on where well, I opened up A Midsummer Night's Dream Overture Opus 21 by Felix Mendelssohn, um, Sibelius Symphony Number no. 2. So there's background, there's interpretation, a little bit of biography. I was really, really, really impressed with this book. Um, so I'm going to work my way through it. Many of you know that I have a sizable classical. Uh, record collection, vinyl, and so this is just something to sit down while the while the albums are playing and to read and to learn and enhance the enjoyment. So yeah, very very thrilled to get this. So then at uh, you, you saw I opened with the the bag that Library of America sent me, the book bag, and. Um, this here also is a gift from Steve. It's the Library of America. It's uh, James Fenimore Cooper, The Spy, A Tale of the Neutral Ground, and his other less known novel, Lion Lincoln, or The uh, Leaguer of Boston. Absolutely gorgeous cover. I love the black Library of America. I have both the um, slip, 
jack uh, the uh, slip boxes and these end papers are pretty. Um, but I, I really like these and I have a sizable collection. Um, the reason uh, Library of America sent me the the bag was I've also been making major purchases of Library of America for the library. Um, we did that not only with some gifts from Steve but also with um, um, endowments. Um, people who um, contact Library of America provide a certain amount of money and then the library is very able to um, collect the foundational texts of uh, American literature. So um, if anyone's interested, uh, like I say, we have a sizable collection now. We've invested heavily in it. Um, I'd, I'd be more than willing to do a, um, a book tour at the library. They wouldn't be my own volumes, um, but they would be the ones at the library that we are, are um, collecting through those programs. So. Um, so yeah, this one has, is really interesting. Um, in the back, they have a lot of book art. Um, so always, always big fan of Library of America. And then there's two volumes, very exciting to wrap it up. Um, this one, Daredevil, Born Again. Uh, let's see, this is... Uh, writer is Frank Miller. The penciler is uh, David Matt Mazzicelli. I hope I'm saying that right. And then, um, so uh, let's see. So it's Daredevil. So I'm looking forward to this. I, I love reading these. I have nowhere near the knowledge uh, that Steve has on these, but he knows I enjoy them. And then the final one, which he, he really recommended uh, quite strongly. Uh, Mark Wade and Alex Russ's Kingdom Come, the greatest superhero epic of tomorrow. Beautiful cover. Look at, look at the age of Superman. And this thing is sort of nice because it actually opens up like this. Look at all those. I, I'm not big on showing too much of the of the panels. Like I mean, these people need to be be paid for their work, but um, I have not read this. I'll probably read this today and uh, maybe even get to Daredevil, but at least I'll, I'll read Kingdom Come today. So I uh, think it would be pretty impossible to do a single pyramid, um, so I'll do two of them. So you have Alexander the Great by Norman Cantor. You have Isaac Asimov's Guide to Science. You have the Oxford Companions in English Language, Daredevil, and uh, Kingdom Come. And then, over here, we have uh, Tolkien, a Churchill biography, Robert Louis Stevenson biography, a companion to classical music, and a uh, James Fenimore Cooper in Library of America edition. A couple of spy novels, American Revolutionary War novels, I guess is how you'd say it. So I know this has gone on a little long, but um, I hope you all having uh, a wonderful uh, weekend and getting ready for the, the, the turnover from one year to the next. So thank you, Booker.